Magandang araw sa inyong mga kaguro. Ngayong araw ay may bago tayong update at tungkol ito sa clarifications on implementation of anim na hour workday for teachers. Para malaman ang buong detalye, please watch this. Clarifications on Implementation of 6-Hour Workday for Teachers This question and the answer were originally posted on CSC's official website. Question, Government School Teachers are aware of the CSC Resolution No. 080096, Dep. Ed. Order 291, Series of 2008, and Dep. Ed. Order 16, Series of 2009 about the 6-hour workday. If a teacher has rendered the 6 hours classroom teaching duly reflected in his time card, he shall be deemed to have completed the required daily work hours and must not be declared to have incurred under time in the report of attendance and must not be subjected to salary deductions by the concerned payroll services unit. Calabarzon, NCR, Region 3, and some other schools have been practicing this yet in some regions, this is not the case. This is because some school heads have different interpretations and are still obliging the teachers to be in school for 8 hours as programmed in the biometrics. May I know, if a school head is committing an offense for not implementing this anim na hour workday. Suppose the teacher wished to exercise this privilege, and the principal did not approve since he has his own interpretation, as a result, under time late has been reflected in the biometrics, would the teacher be charged with habitual tardiness and under time? May this issue be clarified? Thank you. Answer, please be informed that as a matter of policy, the Commission does not render opinions or rulings on issues that may eventually be the subject of a complaint or appeal before it. This is so especially when there are material facts necessary to the judicious adjudication of the issues which are not fully represented or substantiated in this case. However based on your representations, a school head who fails to implement an established law or rule may be liable for grave misconduct or simply misconduct. In OCA v. Lopez, AM number P10278 Walung dated January 18, 2011, the Supreme Court held, misconduct is a transgression of some established and definite rule of action, more particularly, unlawful behavior or gross negligence by a public officer. The misconduct is grave if it involves any of the additional elements of corruption, Willful intent to violate the law or to disregard established rules, which must be established by substantial evidence. As distinguished from simple misconduct, the elements of corruption, clear intent to violate the law, or flagrant disregard of established rule, must be manifest in a charge of grave misconduct. On the other hand, a teacher may be subjected to disciplinary action such as habitual tardiness and or undertime for likewise intentionally violating established rules. Yun lamang ang ating update ngayong araw. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our Facebook page, BFAM Salamat.